Hey guys, Dao Peach again here and today on our English tutorial I'm going to teach you how to uh, do Dodge and Ban. So you need to have an image which is already retouched as you can see this one which was like this before and after then you go to that process of applying Dodge and Ban. Why do we do Dodge and Ban? Basically, we do dodge and burn because we want the image to pop out more. We want the image to be uh, much more visible, much more beautiful than the way it was before. I think you'll see the results after uh, I apply dodge and burn. But it's a bit of a challenge if you don't really practice to get like that perfection of a dodge and burn. So most people get it. Uh, right like some people get it right some people don't so I'll show you a few tips on how you can get it right and then you should practice and then we'll see the results so one thing you should consider before you start dodging burn first you need to really see where the light hit the subject and where the shadow hits the subject so like right now, if you see this image, you can see like the lighter parts are here. So you can see right here, this is lighter. This is lighter. Also these parts in here. For that, and this is uh, specifically for, for the face, but the other places are like here. You can see here this is lighter and lighter a bit of it here you can already see the parts which are lighter so the parts which are lighter are the ones you're going to apply the dodge the parts which are darker are the ones which you will apply the uh, burn because burn adds darkness and dodge adds uh, uh, the lightness so yeah and the rest of the parts you can see are darker, that's why I didn't point them out. And some other parts like these ones. So yeah, you can already see them. So you really need to identify also the darker area and the lighter area. Like how the light hit the subject. <coughs> Excuse me. The next thing you're going to do is like to take the... This is one of the ways you can do dodge and burn. You can use curves of which you can apply multiply for the darker areas. And then you press command I on Mac and or control I on uh, PC. And then for the lighter parts, you apply screen and then command I or control I, control I on PC, command I on Mac. <laughs> And then you have to you'll, you'll be seeing this type of uh, results. So what you're going to do next is I mostly like to start with the um, lighter parts. So you can even label your curves adjustment layer and write it dodge and the other one burn. Okay, so I mostly like to use dodge and then what I'll do is I'll maximize the size of the brush, drop the flow, like at least five or something. How much the flow should be depends on your image. So if the image is lighter, it means you should apply less of a dodge. If the image is darker, then more of a dodge, I guess. You just your eye should be able to tell you what's perfect for you. So you should see that. So I'll start like this and then just tap a bit on the lighter part, tap again, reduce, tap again, as you can see. And if I show you before and after, you can already see the difference. The image is already popping. So I'll apply the same thing. Notice my brush movement and how I'm reducing the size of the brush. This is so the the edges of the dodge can't be or will not look sharper or like 
separated from the Doge and Bern. So, yeah, I'll apply the same thing on every part which I was saying should be dodged, if you remember. And don't do it too much. Too much of anything is harmful, as they say. So just apply it a bit and then that should be enough. And most people make a mistake of like dodging too much or burning too much and then the image turns out weird. So if you can see, I'm just partially brushing the lighter areas. And what I'm using is the brush, which I picked up from the, the, the soft brush, which hardness is zero and then the size depends on where you are dodging. So yeah, at the end you have this on dodge and then when I go to burn, I'll burn the areas which are darker, like the eyebrows, a bit on the lashes, you can see. A bit on the lips. And the cheeks, the side cheeks. This is too dark, so we need to see a bit of details. This is why I'm, I'm dodging this area. Also, the chest is kind of darker from the from being suntanned, so I'm trying to adjust that as well. So yeah, at the end, I'll be seeing this. But also, we can do that on the side of the nose. So that we get to see this. So if you see now, I'll take this and group it. Sorry, not duplicate it, but group it on this fold. And this is after, and this is before. Before, after, before, after. You can already see like how the image is much more popping than before. So yeah. This is how you basically uh, apply dodge and burn. But the, the key to this is to practice more. If you practice more, that way you get like better results. So you, you can even go ahead and uh, like do something with the eyes. And almost people see like my eyes, uh, my images have like eyes which are really shiny and visible so i also apply the same thing i dodge on the lighter parts and burn on the darker areas of the eyes so for a quick show this is what i do uh, So yeah, in the end you have this before, after. So yeah guys, this is how you basically do dodge and burn. So if you have any questions, if you have anything you're interested to learn, let me know. Uh, I'll be sharing more tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment if you have anything you'll want to know from me as a say of in sense of tutorials especially on uh, photography and videography let me know so we can do more of these tutorials